Hello everyone, good morning. Uh, welcome to the thematic analysis. Uh, there are some themes in current affairs, whichever is important for UPSC. Uh, this is our uh, uh, discussion on themes. So recently there was a theme from Nitish Kumar saying that we want special status for Bihar. In this context, we will discuss about in today's newspaper, there is an article, why is Bihar demanding the special category status. So we will just look at what is the demand of Bihar, why they are asking for special category status and how can a state will get special category status, what are the benefits that you are going to have uh, with the special category status and how far special category status is relevant after the 14th and 15th finance commission has done uh, or after doing away with the so called planning commission of India. So these are the things, so special category status important for your mains, in prelims they have not asked but for mains, in prelims if they want to ask when can a state get special category status, from which planning commission it was announced, what are the benefits that you will get as per Gargil Mukherjee formula, these are the things that you have. So let us look at this. The chief minister of Bihar is demanding the so called uh, uh, status, now why he is demanding is the state of Bihar seems to be poor and backward. According to the so-called Chief Minister Mr. Nitish Kumar, it is lacking natural resources such as water supply, irrigation and there has been frequent floods in northeastern region of the so-called Bihar. And after the bifurcation of Bihar into Jharkhand, uh, majority of the industries were taken by the Jharkhand. As a result, there is lack of employment opportunities and investment opportunities into Bihar. As a result, the per capita income of Bihar is somewhere around just 54,000 crores, whereas the per capita income of the All India was at 1 lakh 10,000 rupees. So he is saying that we have 94 lakh poor people in Bihar. Considering all this, we want special category status, right? So recently there has been similar demands from the state of Andhra Pradesh because Andhra Pradesh, after bifurcation, the capital called Telangana, Telangana got this capital of Hyderabad. As a result, due to lack of revenue resources, High Court or uh, the state of Andhra Pradesh has been demanded for special category status. Similarly, the state of uh, Odisha is also asking recently for the so called uh, this one, special category status. So what exactly is special category status? What are the constitutional provisions that is available in the special category status as far as uh, 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 constitution is considered? One thing that you have to note down is Constitution has never spoke about special category states. It has given special status to some states, but the special category status is not there. So there is some clear distinction between special states and uh, special category status. Now special status is given in part to 21 of Indian constitution where you have uh, something called temporary, transitional and special provisions for some states from article number 300 and somewhere around 369 to you find somewhere around 392 articles or 369 to 392 you find these articles in part 22 of Indian constitution. In this there are articles like 370 which was abrogated in 2019 August 5th uh, that is special category or special status to the so called Jammu Kashmir that was taken out. Similarly, uh, there was something like uh, 371, 371A to J you have special status to some states. In that context, they have given uh, uh, these things. So, CAPS constitution has recognized special temporary and transitional provisions to some states, but they have not clearly defined special category status. So, one thing that you have to understand is special category status was not defined in constitution. Then, how it emerged? It emerged from the so called fifth file planning commission. So, very important, fifth finance commission recommended them in the year 1969. Very, very important. Fifth Finance Commission has recommended it and what are the ways in which you can recognize a state as special category state? There are five factors which are necessary. First one is the state should have hilly and difficult terrains. It should have low population density or low size of population shared to its uh, tribal population. And then strategic location along the international borders, economic and infrastructural backwardness and then it should have non-viable state finances. The state finances should not be viable. So these are the major things that you should have as far as special category is considered. If a state do not have these things, then government can uh, give special category status to that state. So these are the things. It should have hilly terrains, low density of population, location along the international borders, economic backwardness and sizable amount of tribal population. 
this is what the fifth finance commission has said and then you can give the so called uh, special category status now once special category status is achieved what are the benefits that you are going to get from this what are the benefits that you are going to get uh, as per this uh, gadgil mukherjee formula you are going to get the so called 30% of total central assistance special plan for assistance for some projects uh, in centrally sponsored schemes they are going to give 90% of the share whereas other states will get 60% so according to the so called gadgil mukaji these are the things that the special category status will get assistance from externally aided projects accelerated irrigation benefit programs united central assistance grant so all the grants are going to be get you, you used to get it as per gadgil mukaji so you have marked 30% total central assistance to states and then uh, these things you are going to get along with the so called concessions in the form of taxes excise tax customs tax income tax in the centrally sponsored schemes you are going to get 90% of the funds from uh, the center whereas uh, normally the states will get only 60% so these are the benefits that you will get whenever you go for a special category status now in the year 1969 after announcing by the planning fifth finance commission the three states went the first three states which went for special categories jammu kashmir assam and nagaland so these are the three states later eight four states were added to this so subsequently it was uh, 11 totally today so what is this so jammu kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand arunachal pradesh assam sikkim nagaland manipur mizoram tripura meghalaya all north eastern states including sikkim plus the so called himalayan states so all the himalayan states were covered under the so called special category status this is the thing that we have to understand today there are 11 states now 14th finance commission however after removal of the planning commission today you have need to have in planning commission's way so after removal of this the recommendations of 14th and 15th finance commission asked that the assistance given to the special category status 30% assistance has been subsumed into the increased devolution of divisible pool funds of funds so this category was removed the special uh, 30% total central assistance which has to be got that was subsumed into this tax devolution as a result of today this 30% of the total central assistance is not got by the special category states so overall uh, if you look at this what does this mean these states are not having that special category anymore in terms of money as far as central assistance is concerned the only thing that they get benefit is this 90s to 10 and the so called other incentives here they are going to get it they are going to get it right these are the things that you have now what are the other states which are asking for this the other states which are asking for this is andhra pradesh and tamil nadu sorry andhra pradesh and odisha these are the states that they are asking now raghuram rajan committee in the year 2013 also said that bihar should be placed in least developed category and there should be new methodology and multi dimensional index based on that you have to give funds so raghuram rajan committee also said that bihar has to be given some special provisions in order to have Uh, to push it out of poverty these are the things based on all these things pm uh, chief minister of the state mr nitish kumar is asking that we want special category status so this is special category so what is the thing special status is different from special category status this is constitutionally valid in constitution it was not mentioned part 21 of indian constitution discusses about this temporary transition and special provisions from article number 369 to article number 392 discusses about this this is special status special category this was given in fifth finance commission from 1969 initially three states today there are eight more states added total 11 states all are north eastern states 90 is to 10 central assistance the next one that you are going to get is you are going to get some exemptions in the tax the third one is earlier they used to have central assistance this central assistance was 30% was subsumed into the tax devolution so this is not there but these are the things so other states that are asking for special category today is Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, and Bihar. These are the three states which are asking. In order to get it, there should be hilly terrain. There should be less population density, and the population of the tribal population should be more. It should be along the international borders. The next one that you should have is non-viable nature of the state finances. State finances should not be non-viable. So based on these factors, you will get some special category status. This is what the special category status of Bihar is, and that is what it was given in today's. Uh, Uh, online paper that is why bihar is asking for special category very important guys have a look at it this is what we have thanks for joining have a great day